Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back with another video today. A couple of weeks ago, someone wrote a comment down in my Noble Collection Hall video saying, I can't believe you don't have Rowena Ravenclaw's Lost Diadem yet. Yeah. As an avid Harry Potter collector, I felt that I was doing a disservice to you guys, my lovely viewers. So, without further ado, I decided to do a haul on all my Harry Potter Horcruxes that may or may not include Rowena Ravenclaw's Lost Diadem. Let's begin! Because we're beautiful in future, my regular Niffler. The first Horcrux I ever bought from the Noble Collection was the Horcrux Locket from Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince slash Deathly Hallows Part 1. Now, I realized when I went to the Noble Collection store, essentially, that there were two versions, the fake one from the Half-Blood Prince and the original one, which actually turned out to have the real piece of Voldemort's soul in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. And, of course, I decided to get the real locket. If you guys don't know, the fake locket actually has a black letter S on it, while the real one actually has it in imprinted in green rhinestone, which is pretty interesting. Let's open this guy up. Yes, yes, yes! Okay. Now, no matter what, this has always been one of my favorite horcruxes that I've ever purchased from the Noble Collection because for some reason, it really is a symbolization of everything that Harry, Ron, and Hermione had to go through in the woods as they were camping out trying to destroy this thing and it never would have budged. It really developed a strong character development with Ron in Deathly Hallows Part 1 as you get to see him evolve into a real man for once. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know this, but I don't really care for Ron Weasley at all. I love all his siblings, just not him. You can actually see the green S that I actually think now is supposed to resemble a snake, which I just can't believe I haven't gotten. And on the back, it's got all of this writing, which you can't really read. Something I quite like about it is that you can actually open it up and place something in it, although I don't know why you would want to do that, but... And of course, the inside is green, as it did belong to Salazar Slytherin. One thing I realized when collecting all of these Horcruxes from the Noble Collection is that each one of them resembles a certain house in the Harry Potter series. I don't really know why, but for whatever reason, it's really cool. The next Horcrux that I purchased from the Noble Collection was the Horcrux Ring from Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. In the movie, you never really got to see this being destroyed by Dumbledore, but you got to see Dumbledore's hand deteriorate as he was trying to destroy it, which is pretty much enough for me as we didn't really know what Horcruxes were at the time. I find the packaging of this product really interesting as it does have the Deathly Hallow symbol printed all around it. It resembles a triangle and the ring is a circle. They've interestingly chosen to display it in this mirrored kind of packaging. I don't know whether that's to make it look cooler or if that's supposed to symbolize something. Of course, the ring itself has got the symbol of the Deathly Hallows inside the stone. And by stone, I mean resurrection stone. As for the spine, I don't really dig it, but that's how it was made in the movie. If you want to wear it, which I have done in previous Harry Potter events, you'll be happy to know that it does not fall off at all. In fact, it gets a bit tight at times. But I really do enjoy this piece because it just caps off the whole Horcrux collection. And if you're a fan of Voldemort or the Dark Arts in general, the Horcruxes would just essentially be the first kind of products that you'd want to buy from the Noble Collection. The next Horcrux I wanted to talk about, you can't really get from the Noble Collection as it would kind of be impossible. It's this rubbered up version of Nagini from Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. And yes, of course, this is a toy wand, but the reason I wanted to show you guys it is because this is how I display Nagini in my Harry Potter Horcrux collection. Because, of course, as you guys know, Nagini was the last Horcrux that they had to destroy in order to destroy Voldemort, and of course, Noble Collection is unable to make a real life-size Nagini. And because of that, I had to make way with whatever I had and try to find a toy version of Nagini so I can display. And it actually worked because it looks really cool in my Dark Arts display. The second to last Noble Collection Horcrux product I ever bought was Tom Riddle's Diary from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Now you guys, I had the choice between buying this Tom Riddle's Diary or the Tom Riddle's Diary with the Basilisk Fang in it, but to be honest, I preferred this because you can actually write inside of it, which I most likely will never do, but this is an actual book that you can put stuff into, whereas the Diary with the Basilisk Fang in it is just a display, you can't even really play with it. I also felt that this was really nifty as you can display it in many different shapes and forms. I actually display it face down with some Harry Potter Funko Pops on top of it. And if I'm being honest, there's not much to say apart from this really cool 
gold-plated Tom Marvolo riddle on the cover. This is one of the items that make me regret having Lord Voldemort place pieces of his soul in the most random places you can think of, because it doesn't really fit with the way the other Horcruxes look, but it definitely is worth it if you are a Horcrux collector, or you just really like Lord Voldemort. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, Last night, I went out and bought myself the Horcrux diadem from Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. I've always been kind of hesitant to buy this product as it essentially is a tiara and would look kind of weird in my bedroom. But then I realized that my bedroom already looks really weird and I just decided to go all out and buy every single piece of Voldemort's soul. If you guys don't already know this, I am really fond of the Ravenclaw house. My sister is a Ravenclaw, and I really like the characters of Luna Lovegood. Upon buying this, no, but for real, it's literally like one of the most gorgeous things I've ever seen in my life. But it's got this really nice silver-plated Ravenclaw logo on it. Enclosed, you can actually see it's got a real Ravenclaw imprinted on the front, and just in general. This is one of the replicas that's even displayed the exact way it was displayed in the movies, as Harry found it in the Room of Requirements. But I can't deny the best part about this piece is the actual diadem because it's unbelievably detailed. For those of you who want me to, I'm not gonna wear it because bros don't do that. <laughs> On the bottom it says wit beyond measure is man's greatest treasure and that is a known Ravenclaw quote. There's this blue diamond printed right in the middle and of course the shape takes the form of an actual Ravenclaw or a bird in general. With girls online who have worn it, I will say it does look like a real piece of jewelry. And, uh, yep, I refused to do that. But yes, when I did display it in my Dark Arts display for the first time, I was amazed by how gorgeous it looked. And especially when it's morning time and the sun's out, this just reflects all over it, and it looks unbelievably fabulous. I will say it is risky for its price, considering it's really expensive, so I actually would only recommend this product if you were a Ravenclaw, or you just needed all the pieces of Voldemort's soul, which, uh... I had to do. If I were a Ravenclaw, this would definitely be the first item I ever would have bought from the Noble Collection, so I would definitely recommend it for all you people who are Ravenclaws and, again, are avid Harry Potter collectors. So there you have it, guys. That was my video on the Harry Potter Horcrux Collection from the Noble Collection. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like and a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel to see a lot more Harry Potter content. Bye, guys!